welcome to learn instrumentation engineering in this channel you will be learning a lot of basic instrumentation concepts and control system techniques uh, latest uh, updates and latest technology which is happening in our industrial instrumentation and control systems so if you are a, a student or a budding engineer or even an expertise engineer who is working in industrial instrumentation automations you have to subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and value and creation so in this video today we are going to discuss about what is basically a control valve and how does a control valve look and how it is being uh, operated in a process plan so let's get into this video so what is basically a control valve let's imagine that you are in a washroom you are opening a water tip to fill an empty bucket so when the a bucket is empty you just fully open the water tip such a way that you are ensuring maximum flow rate to save the time so once you fully open the uh, water tip the water fully flows into the bucket and once the bucket is about to get filled you are closing or throttling the uh, water tip such a way that you ensure the bucket gets full at the same time it doesn't overflow right and next you are doing the same to the next bucket and again you are having an empty bucket and you are opening fully the water tip and again you are filling it and again you are throttling it such a way that you control uh, the overflow and also you are ensuring the level of the bucket right so this is being done by manual operation so how it will look if the same operation is being done in auto and that is nothing but it's a control valve so a control valve throttles itself to control the process flow which is entering into a process applications so let's see what is a control valve and how would it looks right this is basically the uh, control valve the left side is a fisher make control valve so we have a valve body positioner actuator and the air filter regulator I'll be explaining detailly the components of a control of the next video and uh, the middle is also a, another type of uh, control valve which is in red color actuator and the extreme right is again a different type of control valve and all are globe uh, type and sliding stem type okay so this is basically a control valve so how we define the control valve if you want to define a control valve you have to refer ISA instrument society of america so the ISA defines a control valve as a power operator device that modulates the fluid flow rate in your process control systems i will explain you uh, about how it controls uh, in the next slide so a control valve consists of a valve connected to an actuator mechanism the actuator in response to a signal from the controlling system can change the position of a flow controlling element in the control valve so this is basically the uh, pure definition of a control valve given by isa okay now let's see how does it uh, 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 control the process fluid see this is a vessel or a tank and that is a process fluid which is inside the uh, tank and there's a level transmitter LT which measures continuously the level and it sends a signal to LIC that is level indication controller so we have a set point a manipulator variable and a process variable and it do some calculations algorithm and then it sends a signal to the level control wall to operate or to control the flow rate so that the level is at operating envelope for example if the level transmitter senses low level the level indication controller gives signal to the level control wall to open more such a way that process fluid uh, is able to maintain the optimum envelope at the same time if the level transmitter senses high level again the level indicating controller gives signals to the level control wall to close the control wall such a way that it doesn't overflow so basically the level control wall operates or throttles to control the process fluid into the tank so that the level is maintained so this is the normal overview of a control wall in a process application 
So I hope this video was very useful to you. You had a very good understanding of basically what is a control wall or what is a pure definition of a control wall and what some images of a control wall and finally how a control wall uh, controls the process fluid in a process applications. So if this video was very useful to you, just hit the like button and share to our instrument community. And if you want to watch such insulation and control system videos, do subscribe to our channel Learn Insulation Engineering. Thank you.